out of the woods, <laughs> out of the woods, doopity boop. <laughs> this collaboration with Cigar City's Wayne Rambles happened so long ago, but it's super exciting to finally have this beer released. This whole idea was one from Pete's really, it was just throwing out that idea of a trip in the woods, uh, a walk through the forest in the morning, all those smells and aromas uh, that come up and whether we can capture it in a beer. Everyone today has just basically down tools and, and headed into the hills, um, gathered up, brought it into the brewery and, and you guys have been busy picking and sort of uh, working your way through it and making teas and checking. Some of that come in. We've got this big open fermenter, um, big fooder from, from France that we had surplus to requirements and we decided we'd chop the top off and we've been hydrating this up so we'll open ferment, uh, do a spontaneous wild fermentation as well from what comes in off those flowers. Um, and then after that, we'll play around with some, some wood aging. Have you ever done anything like this? Nothing like this. And actually, it was, uh, it was a really big challenge to. Um, to try to wrap my mind around it, and you know, I feel good about the direction that we're we're working towards now. Should we open one? Exciting. Dark. If you hold it up to the light, you get a lovely kind of rubescent, I'm going to call that rubescent quality, maybe mahogany, um, just a tinge of red coming through that. Um, it looks beautiful. The thing that's going to strike all of you that try this is just the complexity of this beer. There's a lot of things going on. This is a, a very cool beer. All of those woody flavors, um, herbal qualities from the leaves. In this beer, uh, there are rimu, uh, manuka tips, totara wood chips, kawakawa leaves, a, a touch of sourness um, from the wild ferment, um, and then this lovely refreshing tartness. Very happy with that, nice, cheers. <laughs>